Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the basic question type for combinations. The base question is there are 6 men and 5 women. In how many ways can you select a committee of 5 members out of these such that and there could be various constraints built into the statement. For instance, you may need to select exactly one woman or at least 3 women or a particular woman in the committee. We will learn how to tackle these constraints and I am sure once you have understood this question type through this video, you will never face any problem in related questions. So let us begin. So let us have a look at our base problem first. If there are no additional constraints, then we are given a choice of 11 persons out of which we have to select 5. 5 persons out of 11 can be selected in 11C5 ways where C stands for combinations. We covered the basics of permutations and combinations in this particular video which is there on our channel. So you may revise it if required. As we have learned earlier, NCR is the basic notation for combinations or selections which gives us the number of ways of selecting R persons out of N. To evaluate NCR, we can use the formula NCR is equal to N factorial upon N minus R factorial into R factorial. So in 11C5, it is easy to read. Out of 11, we choose, C stands for choose, 5. N is equal to 11 and R is equal to 5 here. 11C5 will be equal to 11 factorial upon 6 factorial into 5 factorial, which simplifies to the number 462. So in total, there are 462 different ways of forming the committee of 5 persons out of 11. You may even leave your answer in the NCR format. In many objective type questions, the options are given in that format only. So in this video, we will focus not on calculations, but on understanding the concept thoroughly. Let us introduce a few constraints now. The base statement remains the same. Six men and five women out of which we have to select five persons for a committee. But in the committee, there should be exactly one woman. So not to worry, just think it out loud. In a committee of five persons, if there is exactly one woman, the rest four are obviously men, yeah? So that means we have to select one woman and four men for our committee. That one woman we must select out of five. And the four men we have to select out of the six given men. So one woman out of five can be selected in 5C1 ways. And four men out of six can be selected in 6C4 ways. And remember, we have to perform both this action of selecting the women and this section of selecting the men. In the language of P and C, and means multiply, while OR means you add. This is all you need to remember. So by using the fundamental rule of counting, one woman out of five, that is 5C1, and four men out of six, that is 6C4, can be selected in 5C1 into 6C4 ways. This number is equal to 5 and this one is equal to 15. So our answer is 5 into 15. That is, there are 75 ways of forming the committee so that exactly one woman is included in the committee. What if we need to have exactly 3 women in the committee? So same thought process applies here. Exactly 3 women means the rest two are men. So in the five person committee, there are three women and two men. Three women out of five can be selected in five C three ways and two men out of six can be selected in six C two ways. And means multiply. This is 10 and this is 15. So our answer is 10 into 15, that is, 150 ways of forming the committee 
such that there are exactly three women. The third variation is to form the committee of five persons such that there are at least three women. The word at least means a minimum of, minimum three women. So guys, a hint here. When you see words like at least or at most in a combinations question, always form cases using the word exactly. So at least three women means either there would be exactly three women or exactly four women or exactly five women in the committee. These three cases qualify for a given condition of at least three women. Since the committee is of five members in each case, the balance would be men, of course. So there would be three women and two men or four women and one man or five women and zero men. Three women out of five can be selected in 5C3 ways and two men out of six in 6C2 ways. As we have seen earlier, we multiply. For this case, four women out of five in 5C4 ways and one man out of six in 6C1 ways. We multiply. Five women out of five can be selected in 5C5 ways and zero men out of six in 6C0 ways. We multiply. Both these numbers are equal to one, by the way. Now the operator or, or means plus. So we add up the three numbers from these three cases and now we just need some quick calculations. Number of committees with exactly three women will be 10 into 15. Number of committees with exactly four women will be five into six. And number of committees with exactly five women will be one into one. That is only one committee. So adding up these numbers, there would be 181 ways of forming the committee such that at least three women are included. In the next question, a committee is to be formed such that there is at least one woman. Now think logically. This would be true for most of the committees, right? Because in any five-membered committee, the number of women will range from a minimum zero to a maximum five. Isn't it? At least one woman would imply either there would be exactly one or exactly two or exactly three or exactly four or exactly five women. Too many cases, right? Is there any shortcut? Yes, there is. See, in any five-membered committee that we can possibly form, either there would be no woman or at least one woman, isn't it? Think it out like this. The total number of ways of forming the five-membered committee minus the number of ways of forming the committee such that none of the women is selected would give us the balance cases automatically. Total number of ways we saw in our base problem were 11C5, 462. And if no woman is selected, which means all five are men, zero women and five men can be selected in 5C0 into 6C5 ways. We take a difference of these two numbers and our answer is 462 minus 6. That is 456 ways of forming the committee such that at least one woman is included. Along similar lines, the question might ask the number of ways of forming the committee if at most four women are to be included. So again, if we break down the given condition into cases, there would be too many. Because at most four women means the number of women could be exactly zero or one or two or three or four. The easier way to attempt the same problem would be to subtract the number of committees containing exactly five women from the total number of five-membered committees that are possible. Because in the remaining committees, the number of women would be at most four. Let us do that. Total number of committees are 11C5. This minus the number of committees with exactly five women and zero men 
which would be 5C5 into 6C0. This number calculates to 462 minus 1, that is 461. Now, sometimes the question might have a different kind of variation to it, wherein they might ask you to include or exclude a particular person. So, just to make the visualization simpler, let's assume that out of these 11 persons, there is a particular woman named Sia, a particular man named Raghav, and another man named Lankesh. Now, with this additional information in mind, let us try out some questions. In how many ways can we form a committee of five members such that a particular woman, say Sia, is always included? So let us include Sia in the committee first. Sia is a particular person, so she can be included in the committee in only one way. After she is included, there are remaining 11 minus 1 persons to choose from and 5 minus 1. That is, four more persons are required to complete the committee. Therefore, four persons out of the remaining 10 can be selected in 10C4 ways. 10C4 evaluates to 210. And there would be these many committees where a particular woman, or for that matter, a particular person would be included for sure. Next question is, in how many ways can we form the five-membered committee so that a particular man is always excluded, kept out from the committee? So, let us suppose that man is Lankesh. We have to keep him out of the committee and that means we have to essentially form the committee out of the remaining 11 minus 1 persons, that is 10 persons. We still need five persons for our committee because we have selected nobody so far. And those five persons can be chosen in 10C5 ways. 10C5 evaluates to the number 252. Therefore, there would be 252 committees such that a particular man is always excluded. Moving on, how do our numbers change if instead of one, there were two particular persons who were to be included on the committee? In how many ways can we form the committee so that a particular man and a particular woman are always included? Let us suppose that particular man is Raghav and that particular woman is Sia. We include both of them in the committee. Now remember, selection of a particular man can be done in only one way. And correspondingly, selection of a particular woman can also be done in only one way. So, Sia is included and Raghav is included. Remaining, there would be 11 minus 2, that is 9 persons out of which we need to select 3 more for our committee because 2 persons are already included. 3 out of 9 can be selected in 9C3 ways. 9C3 evaluates to the number 84. So, there would be 84 committees in which two particular persons are always included. And now comes the most complicated question of this lesson. In how many ways can we form the committee if two particular persons cannot be present together on the committee? Supposing these two persons are Sia and Lankesh who can't be together on the committee. In how many ways can we form the five-membered committee then? So guys, we will have to do some hard thinking for this question and form a mind map for all the possible scenarios. For a moment, forget the constraints and think in terms of the total five member committees that exist. In some of them, Sia would be included and in some she won't be. Similarly, in some of them, Lankesh would be included and in others, he won't be. So we can take a break up of the total number of committees, five person committees into the following four cases. To 
total number of committees is equal to the number of committees where both Sia and Lankesh are included plus the number of committees where Sia is included but Lankesh is not plus the number of committees where Sia is not included but Lankesh is included plus the number of committees where both Sia and Lankesh are kept out. For the required condition that these two persons cannot be included together, logically we can either include only one of them or keep both of them out of the committee which is the sum of these three cases. So let us evaluate our answer. If Sia is included but Lankesh is not, we will need four more persons for our com committee out of the remaining nine. This can be done in 9C four ways. Let us quickly evaluate this number. 9C4 is equal to 126. If both are not included, we will need to select five persons out of the remaining nine, which can be done in 9C5 ways. As we discussed, this number is equal to 9C4. Keeping Sia out and including Lankesh is also a similar case. So this number is also equal to 9C4. And both not included, this number is equal to 9C5. Since 9C4 is equal to 9C5 and 9C4 is equal to 126 as we calculated earlier, so our answer for this condition is 3 times 126, that is 378 ways of satisfying this condition. Alternatively, since this equation always holds, we can get our answer, which is the sum of these three, by subtracting this from the left hand side. So number of committees possible. If Sia and Lankesh can't be included together on the committee is equal to total number of ways of forming a five member committee minus the number of committees when both Sia and Lankesh are included. How many of them? So we include Sia, we include Lankesh. Out of the remaining 11 minus 2, that is 9 persons, we need 3 more for our committee who can be selected in 9C3 ways. Our answer is 11C5 minus 9C3, which is equal to 462 minus 84. 378 ways of doing that. That brings us to an end of this video. Hope you have understood the concept well. And if you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, do press the like button and subscribe our channel for related content. Here is a glimpse of other maths videos on our channel. Stay tuned and take care. Bye-bye.